Well, I picked up a couple more Ithaca 37 featherweights. We have a first year of issue, 1937, model 37 Ithaca in 16 gauge. That's the one on the bottom. And the one at the top is a 12 gauge standard featherweight from 1957. Both of them in nice condition. Now, I like Ithacas. Other than the Winchester Model 1897, these are my favorite shotguns. Nice, uh, light, but very strong bottom eject, so you don't have to go chasing empty hulls all over the place. You know, neat little pile at your feet, very well made, and right here in New York. At least they were when these were made. That is no longer the case today, unfortunately. And you can see the 16 gauge showing normal signs of use but is rock solid. Full choke on this one. And that's not the only 16 gauge I have, but it is definitely the oldest Ithaca that I have. At least the oldest Ithaca 37, being that it is a first year of issue. And 1957's right in the middle there for the 37's. I mean, no different than the ones they made from the first to the last. I don't come across them as often as I used to. But when I find them, I do like to grab them. Let's see if I can get a picture of the other side there. There we go. That's the usual scene found on all the 37s. Waterfowl scene there. And also on the other, on both sides actually. Really nice wood on these ones. No cracks or splits, or even really any damage at all. Which is not always the case, because these guns did get used. People did not buy these things to stick them in a china closet and look at them. You know, they bought these to use them. I'm sure both of these had taken many, many ducks over the years. Just really nice guns. I like the Ithacas, as I said before. I have quite a number of them. And I find them easy to work with. There's never a shortage of parts. Like this one, for instance, the, the 57, came with a band here, had a crack in it. That happens sometimes. It's under stress, it squeezed. Somebody probably tried to over tight a little too much and they cracked it. And I was able to find a replacement in less than five minutes. Not even five minutes on eBay. There it was. A few dollars, no big deal. And I had it in a couple days. It's always a nice when you can get parts when you need them. Not that they break often, but you know, things do happen. You can see these have the original butt plates on them. And they're nice and clean too. You know, that all beat up. This one, I suspect, might be a replacement only because it doesn't quite meet up down there perfectly, but that's okay. It's an Ithaca part. Like I said, they got used and things do happen. Well, there you go, that's the, the latest Ithacas. 16 gauge and a 12 gauge. Soon I'm gonna have to find myself a 20 gauge and a 410, which I do not have. I have a lot of 12 gauges, and I have one, six, two, one other 16 gauge, but I don't have a 410 or a uh, 20 gauge or 28 gauge for Ithaca 37. Now, I don't believe they made a 10 gauge, but if they did, I'll have to look that up. I'm going to want that too. But there you go. A couple 37s. Don't ever pass up an opportunity to get one of these if you can. These days, they're usually gone for, you know, sometimes between $275 and to even $500. I've seen them, which is a little out there, but they're available. So if you have an opportunity to grab one, don't hesitate. Really would not regret that.